everybody. This is Sandy, and I'm here with the Heart of Hollywood Media interview segments. And I'm very excited today we have, because we have a super special guest, and that would be Mr. Mel Novak. Hi, Mel. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, all of you guys out there know that Mel is a martial arts legend. He has a cult following. And although he is the nicest man, he normally plays villains. In fact, I know that you have been in countless movies, including movies with Bruce Lee. Uh, that's that's uh, very exciting right there. I'm also a Bruce Lee fan and a fan of yourself. Can you tell me a little bit about career highlights that you have had as an actor? Well, there are so many of them. Uh, it's been a real blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in some major movies, major studio movies mm -hmm. that were big hits. And uh, they're still being seen on television. Mm -hmm. So, I, in, in with Bruce Lee, I was in I was in Hong Kong seven weeks. Mm -hmm. I did my own fight. That fight, if you've seen the Game of Death, was from eight at night to late in the morning, in the rain. Oh my! So that was a, a long one. But uh, I got to play. I got to play different roles. Uh, it, you know, like next year, I have four films coming out. One of them is. Tales of Frankenstein, where I play a mad scientist. Mm -hmm. One is when it rings, and I'm a grieving husband who lost his wife and two. So I got to cry. Oh, and nobody oh. will That's expected that. Very unique. But uh, it, it's. I just came from Nebraska uh, doing a film. It was cold. Not oh, a, I can't imagine. Ton of dialogue in it. I can imagine. But, That's exciting. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's amazing how. People that know you from other movies, mm -hmm. plus, you know, I never drank or did drugs, and they know I'm on time, I know my lines, so mm -hmm. they want to have people like that. Oh, absolutely, and there's no way you could do anything but lead a healthy lifestyle because you do stunts, you do action. It's, yeah. You need to be at the top of your game. You can't just not. I'm one of the few actors that did his own fights and stunts. Yeah. In fact, that movie with Yul Brynner, mm -hmm. uh, it was the second type of stunt in the whole movie. Oh, my. They made me an honorary stuntman. And when I realized what I had to do, uh, on the way home, I was saying, Lord, Lord, you need to bail me out on this one. <laughs> and he did. That's wonderful. No, and I also recall that you were not only on numerous pictures, but also plenty of TV shows, including, say, uh, Beretta or Mannix throughout a number of decades. So, I mean, that's career longevity right there. But I find that what you're doing now is also extraordinarily interesting and surprising because our friends out there know you mostly as a villain, as the a bad villain. guy. Hitman, psycho, assassin. Mm -hmm. But in real life, this sweet man is doing this. Could you tell us a little bit about this project? Well, I have a, a Skid Row prison ministry. I've, I've been ministering on Skid Row 35 years in prisons all over the country, 33 mm -hmm. years. In fact, I've been to Pelican Bay, which is the worst one in the country, 10, mm -hmm. 11 times. And uh, I counsel, and the people are walking wounded, they're hurting. Of course. Addicted, afflicted, calamity. Uh, I was just a Skid Row uh, Tuesday, and I never was able to leave it there. Mm. I, sometimes you take it home, and it, it's very difficult to see people's lives destroyed. Oh, I can certainly imagine. But... Um, I can also imagine that you might get several marriage proposals from female <laughs> inmates. Yeah, Chino Women's <laughs> Prison. In fact, I got a new one I'm going to be going to down by San Diego. Uh -huh. And uh, the lady and her husband are taking me to show them the flyer with the movies in it. And, uh, but, you know, they're hurting. They're walking wounded. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I always give them Psalm 147, 3, God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Mm. And that's the hard part. And the, and the juvenile, when I do a juvenile service, they're 10 to 16, I'm done for the day. I'm mm -hmm. down for the count. Of course. It must I mean, be very draining, certainly. It, it is. And you see, whatever happened to our, our family structure, Yeah, I raised my two daughters, uh, mm -hmm since they were seven and 10, and, but I got a great relationship. I was there, mm -hmm. loved them unconditionally, never broke a promise, mm -hmm. never lied. And this is what's missing. 
Exactly. Mel, if somebody wants to learn more about uh, this ministry, do you have a special website for that yes. only? Well, well I have it for that and the movies because it's, ah, well, that's all part linked of it. Together. Yeah. That's wonderful. Where could our friends uh, get more information on this? Yeah, www.melnovak.com, melnovak.com. That's wonderful. Mel, let me ask you something. Going back to the movies and the action scenes and all of that, basically, I came to know you as a martial arts legend. At what point in your life did you become interested in martial arts? Well, right out, uh, Black Bell Jones mm -hmm. was a, was the third biggest money maker. Mm -hmm. Jim Kelly was the was uh, Black Bell Jones, and uh, I hung out with stuntmen mm -hmm. and the karate guys, mm -hmm. and I learned. And Pat Johnson was the first one. He he did. He was stunt coordinator. So many movies, and I learned, and I got to to do all my stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been voted four times in the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. And three times living legend, where I never thought that would ever happen. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I just, uh, but that's how it was. And then the directors liked mm -hmm. that I could do my fights because exactly. they don't have to call cut, right? Then get a stuntman mm -hmm. in there or double. Mm -hmm. So it it worked out really, really well. Uh, and then from Black Belt Jones, mm -hmm. the director Robert Klaus mm -hmm. said uh, two thirds through through the movie. And they kept increasing my role. Mm -hmm. He says, I'm going to take you to Hong Kong to do the Bruce Lee movie. Bam. <laughs> Everybody has seen that. That's fantastic. Mel, what advice would you give um, people who are interested in getting into stunts? What would they, they have, need to do? They have some really good stunt schools. Mm -hmm. And that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. you got to stay in shape. Certainly. I was always in shape. Yes. I worked out all the time, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and stay away from drugs or alcohol. Mm -hmm. Of course, you got to be <laughs> clear-minded and everything. Uh -huh. But uh, there's some really good stunt schools, and that's what you do to get prepared. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't believe that. You know, luck is when preparation meets yeah. opportunity. Of course, you got to be ready, and you got to be focused. Mm -hmm. And as far as you know, are these schools basically located here in Southern California, or is this a nationwide phenomenon? Well, they have s some around the country, but, mm -hmm. they, but the main ones are around here in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's the one, if you want to work in movies, you got to be out here. Right, right. And be prepared, because uh, a lot of people come out here, I'm going to be a star. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that really gets me. Yeah. you got to work at it and never get... What I suggest is for someone to take three years or five years. Mm -hmm. And if nothing's happening, because I knew someone who went to an acting school for 20 years, mm -hmm. never even got their SAG card. Mm -hmm. That's denial. Exactly. So, but always to be prepared and... Uh, and be that, ready. <laughs> that's the key, yeah. Uh, we're on an action, ready. Absolutely. And that's wonderful advice coming especially from a person who has had extraordinary career longevity year after year you're in project after project as you mentioned right now there are several others other projects in yeah. the pipeline that's exciting as well yeah and i'm signed for yeah. i think uh, five or six movies they're right waiting for their their funding ah uh, well but uh it'll happen yeah i listen when i'm not working i i, I go uh -huh. to skid row in prisons mm -hmm. that ba that balances everything of course i don't get depressed or discouraged, mm -hmm. I deal with people that are like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really fulfilling. That's mm -hmm. what my legacy is going to be. Of course. You know, and I've done all those movies, but my, in my real life. So we could say that you're a bad guy on screen, but in real life, you're a really good guy. And it was so wonderful to, to meet you here in the studio today, Mel. Everybody else, thank you so much for joining us, for joining us here at Heart of Hollywood Media. Do uh, log on to heartofhollywoodmedia.com to subscribe to our channel and learn more about Mel and about other very interesting people within the film industry, entertainment industry as well. Bye. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Giovanna, I love you. <laughs>